unless you have been living under a rock you probably know that apple unveiled this year's iphone it is around this time people usually upgrade slash switch devices but iphones are expensive and not everyone can afford them i certainly can't afford to buy a new iphone every year so in today's video let's take a look at how to buy an iphone used without wasting your money hey guys this is anandan from c4 retech and let's roll okay we are not going to go into which iphone you should be buying in this video we personally get ours through a friend or via olx now let's say that you have decided on the device that you are going to buy how do you ensure that the device is in good condition there are a few basic things you should check before pulling the trigger number 1 the screen you would likely be staring at the phone screen for 5 to 6 hours each day so it's very important to check if the screen is authentic or that it has been replaced with a cheaper alternate eyeballing it would not usually tell you if the screen is legit unless you have another iphone to compare it against however it is very likely that a replacement screen sourced from a third party vendor does not support true tone this is apple's technology where the screen adjusts to match the ambient temperature of the surrounding thereby reducing the eye strain now there are third party screens that are pretty good and do support true tone but more often than not the previous owner wouldn't have gone for this one other than this it is also good to check for scratches and cracks If there is a screen protector, please ask the seller to remove it so you can check the screen itself. You can always add a screen protector later on. Number two, the battery. Ever since the scandal that Apple throttles their iPhones with software update to protect the device batteries on their older products, Apple introduced something called battery health in the settings that tells you what is the maximum charge the iPhones can hold. Go into settings, battery, and battery health. A new iPhone would be at 100 percentage, and you are good to purchase an iPhone used if the battery health is at 90 percentage or better. Apple recommends that you change the battery if the percentage drops below 80 percentage. This usually happens at thousand charge cycles, that is zero to hundred a thousand times. Buying a device with a battery health of 80 percentage doesn't really make sense, cause battery life would be terrible, and your new old iPhone would likely need a replacement soon. Added costs and all that. Number 3 the cameras the cameras usually are fine if the device looks to be in good condition but sometimes drops and mishandling can screw up the cameras there was this one time that a used iphone had a replaced screen and pictures shot with the front facing camera were really hazy things like this could happen even with the rear cameras when they are dropped or damaged best to make sure by taking a few photographs and videos before sealing the deal number 4 how to spot the general condition of a used iphone one of the places where it is nearly impossible to fake or downplay the usage of any phone is near the charging port yes some of us use a wireless charger but in a years usage there would have been times where you needed to plug the device in the old fashioned way with the lining connector the points around the charging port often pick up scratches and you can tell the age by the amount of scratches that a phone has picked up here this isn't an exact science none of these are but this would help you make an informed decision One of our riders has been using an iPhone for a long time and three of the last four devices had issues with the mic and speakers. So take a moment to make a call and see how the mic performs. Thank me later for this one. Number 5 warranty. None of these are really deal breakers if the iPhone you are going to buy is covered under warranty. Go into settings, general, about and then limited warranty. You can find out if the device is covered under warranty. Both hardware and tech support. Phones with older versions of iOS wouldn't have this option, so a quick search on Apple's website with the serial number would tell you if the pre-loved device that you are going to purchase is covered under warranty. This is very important to know because it has a bearing on the amount you are going to spend. All these are pretty well known. What I'm going to tell you now is probably is in common knowledge. Every iPhone has a model number beginning with M, F, P, or N. If your model number starts with M, The device was purchased in an Apple store or through an authorized retailer. So, it's safe to assume that it went through all of Apple's QC checks. If the model number starts with P, it means that Apple has sold the device personalized with some engraving to the original owner. This isn't too common, but it has been done before. So, again, nothing to worry about. If the model number starts with an N, it means that the iPhone was offered as a replacement for a malfunctioning iPhone. Now this could either mean that the replacement iPhone is new or refurbished only. So proceed with caution. If the model number starts with F, that means that the device is most definitely refurbished by either Apple or the carrier. This is a simple check that we believe will tell you a lot about the device that you are going to spend your hard-earned money on. 
With that, we get to the end of this quick little video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content like this. Until next time, this is Anantan from C4A Tech. I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Ciao.